Hey guys, it's Full Cards here. Live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go. In front of me today, I have a box of 2021 22 Upper Deck Ice. How nice. On it, like white on rice. Configuration six cards per pack, 12 packs per box, plus a bonus pack. 77 cards total. Base set one through 100. Base rookies 101 through 150. Real rookies are the Ice Premiers 151 through 250. Of course, they have parallels, including the oranges and greens. Uh, etc. Lavenders, etc. So look for that. Look for the levels one through five. The issue with that is level ones are numbered to 99, while the level fives are numbered to 1299. So it's hard to hit the number 99. Uh, but the product's better. It's better than in uh, previous years. There used to be a bunch of base packs back in the 2005s, etc. So it's not bad. Again, look for all the parallels numbered to 799 through 101s, which are the blacks. Of course, there's jersey parallels, there's gold patches numbered to 25 and 15. Also, there's 2000, 2021 20, rookies as well, and they too have parallels. So within a box break, look for your one hit, which is the auto mem or frozen ice, which is the new rip card, three ice crystals, 15 parallels, 12 green parallels and three orange or lavender parallels, okay? Then you hit your two ice premieres, hopefully a lower number one, but probably a higher numbered one. Your one sub-zero and 12 base rookie cards, your base rookie cards, which are kind of like meh. And oh, by the way, there's that extra bonus pack. So that has like five cards in it, cool. One thing worth mentioning is they do have the shrines, the new shrines, they are facsimile gold autos. They aren't real, but the cards look really cool. So with regard to your actual autos, I know there's the white snowflake autos, the red autos, the glacial grass, which I love, the ice premier autos, the signature swatch autos, sub-zero autos, ton of update autos as well, including the buckets, etc., etc. So let's have at it, guys. And of course, look for the exquisite inserts. Uh, a lot of those will be non-autoed. There aren't that many. This is the thing though. The case hits tend to be something like a swatch or a bucket or um, what else? The under glasses, which are really nice. But usually you only receive one of those thicker cards per case, which is, um, you know, like the under glass, etc. So don't expect them. And because the rip cards are considered hits, you don't necessarily receive an auto. So that really is a downgrade. So this is the 2000 2021 pack. I don't believe these ones have autos, but they do have some good rookies uh, like J Rob. So let's have at it, guys. But we do have to address the elephant in the room, guys. And it's the fact that Upper Deck is now just printing cards, printing cards, printing cards. It's like the 1990s. These cards are, in a sense, a little bit like score in terms of what the value is because there's too many sub checklists, too many parallels. Uh, too low odds to hit a Cole Caulfield auto. So those particular ones, Group A's, if it's one in 20,000 to hit a Cole Caulfield, those will still retain some value, assuming he does well. But Upper Deck across products, just too much, too many cards. So that is the bad uh, drawback. Nice looking cards, I have to say, even though they aren't acetates like they once were. And we do have a green parallel of Jeremy Swayman. So this is just like a base parallel, very nice. Base rookie, if you will, not a premier, of course. Carter Verhage, it's kind of topical, and they're a Cole Caulfield rookie in the first pack. Now, this isn't a premier's, so it is of nominal interest. One thing I would mention is the Shrine Acetate uh, facsimile autos. They're beautiful cards. They're not real autos, but there's Belleville on the checklist. There's Tony O, there's Gretzky. So there's some really beautiful cards in this set. Uh, but of course, again, they have nominal value if that's what you're looking for. So continue on, we have a Cole Perfetti green parallel, just, just a base rookie. And we do have our first sub-zero rookie. This is gorgeous. It's an Anton Lundell, uh, who's certainly trending and Joe Valeno, base rookie. We're definitely gonna see some fillers. I have not seen any uh, redemptions yet in this product, interestingly. So here we go, Stammer. I actually hit Stammer in a group break. I hit the under glass, lucky me. Uh, Hubert Do, we have a Charlie Mack, and there is Philip Grubauer's another green. And we do have our first, I think it's our first premieres, and it'll be a 21-22. And it is a Mark McKayley's, uh, very nice. So number to 12.99, so obviously a high number one, which makes complete sense given the math, right? And there's the Jamie Drysdale rookie. I think he's a German player actually, last name the Swiss League, so we'll see. Continuing on here, let's see what else, another green. I think these greens come fast and furious, right? Like every pack. Austin Matthews, Tuvo. We have a Johnny Gibson and we have another green and it's Brock Besser. We do have an auto here and this is one of the snowflake autos. So we did receive an auto in our box, which is a good omen, I guess, as the sirens come wailing through. Did you guys see who it was? Uh, yeah, oh cool, this is a decent one. It's Kalen Addison, I'll take it. 
Uh, one of the simpler autos on the planet, I'll definitely say, but these look decent, certainly saw some action. Um, yeah, they can use them on the blue line, that's for sure. Very good. I mean, he was like on a 40 point clip last year, which for a rookie D is, I'd say, pretty decent. Definitely pretty decent. All right, continuing on, Miro Heskinen, and I probably put under the video his um, grouping, right? I assume it's fairly common grouping. Andre Kopitar, we have an Eklund, that's very nice. An Eklund's beautiful. We, oh, so these are really cool, right? The crystals, a uh, blue crystal here. Oh, nice, of Jeremy Swayman. So we've hit a couple of Swaymans, which is awesome. There's the Jake Neighbors. So again, a lot of these products, you know, under 125 American are really uh, kitty type products. <laughs> Lots of bling, uh, not that much value. Um, you know, something in every pack but very low end offering uh, in terms of hits, unless you hit a number to 25 or 35 or 10 or one-on-one -on -one exquisite, you know, patch auto or something, which is like, you know, product hit. So continuing on guys, <clears throat> another frog in my throat. There's Philip Forsberg. And who is this? Oh, nice, very nice. So this is definitely one of the ones you want to hit. We have a Mason Metavish. Uh, oh, it's a green though. So this isn't even a true one, I believe. I believe it's a green number to 7.99. So it's not even a true rookie per se, but it's certainly one of the big boys you want to hit. So I'm happy with that. Okay, Dawson Mercer as well. So much talent now on that Anaheim team. Of course, but they, they didn't get Bedard, but Metavish was the third overall and he was lights out at the World Juniors. Best save I've ever seen by a forward. I've said that before. So there's Jake Gensel, OV, one of mine, OV hit, Brat. Uh, there's Wierenski Green. And we have our first orange here. And it looks like Patch. And it is in fact Max Patch in his old uniform. I mean, it is a 2021 product. Uh, he certainly missed out on the cup. Unlucky for him, Scott Prunovich. I personally thought Eichel deserved the con smite. I mean, maybe Marcia so earned it more, but I thought he's been less consistent over the past couple of years, and I think Eichel was the difference maker. But anyways, that's, you know, neither here nor there. I think they wanted to give it to one of the rejects, in other words, one of the original players uh, who got pick, taken up in the um, expansion draft. Well, what is this? What is this thing here? So we definitely have like some acetate deal here. Okay, Anton Lundell, so another base rookie. So all these base rookies don't really, they're just filler to be honest with you guys. So what is this behind the Kalen Addison green? Ooh, it's a, oh, I know what it is. That's great, we hit one of the shrine cards. So which shrine did we hit? Oh, we hit the Alex Turcotte. That is really nice. So it's like a rookie shrine, I guess. So these are really beautiful cards. I have to say, I wanted to hit one of these. Of course, I would prefer, I mean, he's a great hockey player, but I would prefer a Bellavo or a Tonio, of course, but that's very, very nice. That is beautiful. And we have another filler, just stacked with fillers, man, but no redemptions uh, as far as I know in this product thus far. Uh, Lafreniere, Mantha, and Hellebuck. What do I have a frog in my throat today, man? And we have a Okay, JG Pajot, and who is this Crystals? And it's a Tage Thompson, the monster, the absolute monster. He he won me fantasy last year, guys. He won me fantasy. I mean, Thompson had like 47 goals, 47 assists last year. But what's interesting about it is he was drafted in 2016. So it took him a minute to develop, you know, and everybody is always like complaining about how long it takes for people to develop or they just throw in the towel. Like already people are throwing the towel in Slavkoski, which is ridiculous. Another big guy and it took him a minute to develop and last year he was unbelievable. So a lot of that is sports psychology, of course. So it's been a really fun break, really eventful break. I like the product, I do. Certainly more eventful than the old products, although the old products used to guarantee what, one or two jerseys and an auto guaranteed, uh, as opposed to rip card or whatever tech cards that they have now. It's a lot like artifacts in that sense. This said guys, across all products, they will just print, print, print. It's not just upper deck, they're just cashing in. It's because the amount of newcomers to the hobby and people are gambling a lot because of middlemen and so on. Uh, so this is what's happened to the hobby. It is just an indication. It's like we're to blame more than upper deck. Upper deck is just doing what it always does, which is find ways to make money. Seth Jarvis, that's a nice one. So an orange Seth Jarvis and the Jack of Sean. All right, look at this, <laughs> look at this guys. Am I out of it today or what? There's a pack left. I didn't even realize it. All right, it's funny that I missed a pack. Uh, probably just, I guess, some parallels, we'll see. So there's Vassy, Markstrom, no, it's a goalie pack. So they hid my goalie pack, isn't that funny? 
Jonathan Taves. Ooh, we have another Premiers and it's a red. So who would this red be is the question. No idea behind the green Taves. Blue helmet. Uh, yeah, so it is a Pot Colson. That's a super good one. So number to 399, so it's a parallel, guys. It happens to be a red parallel. Definitely a solid one. I'll take that one as well. All right, so let's do this bad boy here, the 2020-21 pack. Should we see one rookie premiere, one base parallel, and three base cards? Now, I think the J-Rob is like to 999, so you can actually hit it. The number to 99 cards, I believe, are Hoaglander, um, Byram, Sorokin, Cousins, Romanov, Stutzla, Kirill's in here, uh, Lafreniere's in the 99s, but it just goes to show too, this product's so dated that the wrong people. So there's a base, uh, Laffy, which is interesting, uh, but really we're looking for one of the nice premieres. So let's see who we have here. So this is the premieres and this is the parallel. So we, oh nice, Barkov, who I love, one of my favorite players. And who is our premiere? So even a to 999 would be fine. Uh, oh, uh, you know who this is? Okay, not bad, not bad, Tyler Benson. So we did hit the Tyler Benson to 999. I don't mind that, I don't mind that. So that's basically it, guys. So that's basically it guys, we're doing a proper inventory. I have to say, so the product has changed so much over time. It's got a lot of bling, a lot of fun. It's Skittles again. All the products seem to be veering towards Skittles. You will receive something, but you will not receive your case hits unless you hit your case hits. Uh, other than that, it's just all these consolation prizes. So in some ways things are going a little bit towards, you know, OPG of old or score even, in that it just has like a bunch of inserts and so on. But the value of cards, we have to rethink our finances with regard to the hobby at this point. I don't blame Upper Deck. It has to do with more people in the hobby, more people gambling, and they are just are, you know, profiting, which is what they do. They just print cards. But if you take a look, you see that I have a ton of green parallels, including big name rookies. Again, the orange, there's Seth Jarvis, there's a Zach Hyman Blue. Really, I see a hit of Cole Caulfield in the base rookies. Of course, they're nominal value, they're not value, but it's fun to hit a Cole Caulfield. A bunch of other big names in there too, like Lundell. See, there's there's a Lundell Sub-Zero, there's McTavish. All of my ice premiers were pretty decent names, or two of the three, this guy's a German dude, I think he's in the Swiss League, but McTavish and uh, Pot Colson. Unfortunately, these are not true, true rookies because they're parallels. That's a green parallel, that's a red parallel. And the crystals are beautiful, it's a new insert. I kind of like the way they look. They remind me a little bit of the Leaf Centennial um, die cuts, but I hit the Jeremy Swayman, I hit a Tage Thompson. I mean, some good names in there, guys. And this is our 2028 pack. So a good product, and then of course, the shrines are awesome. I really wanted to hit a Tony Esposito, no goalie mojo there, and of course, a snowflake auto, so we hit an auto, that's great. So that's basically it, guys. I will open another box of this stuff, get into my draw. I'm going to give away a ton of cards this summer. I'm gonna definitely send out two shipping box in the next little while, so sub like hashtag Dryden. Uh, you know what, guys? I'll do one more box of this stuff and see what we get, see if we get a rip card. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be full cards, guys. Do the honor, sub liking, hashtagging Dryden. I'm just in it for the love of the hobby, guys. Guys, that's the only reason I'm in it. And to help you guys out with your decision making. Spoiler Guards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. Less cigarettes, all you can get. Turning your orbit around. Last cigarettes, all you can get. Turning your